Okay. Nope. Oh, much better. Okay. I woke up this morning and, and, and I had a great idea. I had a great plan. So I searched it. I went on uh, YouTube and I tried to check out some other videos as well. But I did not find a vlog about on the road of becoming an actor. So I thought that was a great idea. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start vlogging and I'm gonna show you guys, you people, what it's really like to become an actor. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take you guys to class with me. I'm gonna show you rehearsal processes. And what I'm trying to do as well is I'm gonna interview actors, directors, and playwrights and their journey on from the beginning till now and what they have in store for the future. I attend the University of Idaho. I transferred out of uh, Diablo Valley College. I am originally from Martinez, California, which is in the Bay Area. Got more coffee? It's tea. Oh. I was about to say. I know Justin farted. <laughs> got that on camera? Yeah, I got everything on camera. Yeah. Okay, Miss Tuttle, trying to okay. match like me. Okay. I didn't know you got the memo. Oh, yeah. Duh. <laughs> Let's see if we can muddle through. Cesar Garcia. Today, my number one goal is to try to teach you how to read a play. Uh, people don't usually sit around, I mean, civilians. Civilians don't generally go to their bookstore and buy a play and sit there in their living room and read it, right? That's sort of an odd thing. Only people in the theater tend to read plays, and they're reading plays for one of several reasons. They either got cast in a play, or they want to get cast in a play. They're either interested in directing the play, or they may be somehow involved in the design of the play. The tradition in Europe, in France, the producers hear plays. In other words, if you are a director or an actor, you take the play to the theater and you read it out loud. Now, that seems kind of like an odd thing, but it makes absolute sense to me because plays are meant to be heard out loud. For those of us who are in the theater, we spend all of our time exclusively dedicated on trying to conjure in the eye of the audience member what this play is supposed to sound and look like to get as close as possible to the playwright's intention. Hi, my name is Justin Johnson. Uh, I'm a student here at the University of Idaho. This is my first year here. Uh, I'm a transfer student from the Bay Area, and I'm here to study theater. I've done the acting thing all my life. And so, since I was probably uh, like 11, okay. my first play was uh, A Midsummer Night's Dream, and I was Demetrius, so that was not only my first play but my first Shakespeare play but you know I've been watching movies and you know as a little kid you just reenact them and do all that stuff I I would do that like for my parents now I've been wanting to do more of the the production side or more behind the scenes so I really enjoy telling the story I really love making people feel something different taking them away or making them recognize something that they feel and uh, writing has been now a new thing that I've been delving in that I really really love I, I want to do like what Quentin Tarantino does. He'll he'll write something, he'll direct it, he might star in it a little bit. Challenges for me, uh, especially in playwriting, is um, having having something that you kind of know or want to speak to or speak about, um, and maybe kind of trying finding the starting point. And sometimes I'll, I'll see a beginning, middle, and end, um, but trying to find a way to uh, express that or put dialogue into it or have it connect to one way or another. Trying to clearly see something in your head and express it and put it to paper. So that's that's been a, a key element for me and a challenge that I, I really enjoy, uh, that I want, otherwise I wouldn't really be here, uh, that I, I, I want to continue to do. So like, you know, the I think the key to success is is failure, ironically. Like you should be able to handle failure and handle 
um, you know, uh, challenges that, that hit you and you go, I don't know if I could do this. Uh, I don't think I can do this, but not, not giving up, just continually, uh, going for it. Theater to me is uh, a big thing. It has a heart, it has a soul, uh, it has a purpose. And so to me, theater is a place where people can come to express themselves, to tell, tell stories, to connect with people as well as the audience that you're telling it to. For myself, my goals is just to continue this path that I'm on, grow and meet people and work with people. Uh, I, I hope to one day be a successful playwright, actor, theater maker in any way, shape or form. I, I really would love to be someone who can say, I, I make a this is how I make a living, this is what I do. So that that is my goal, just to make great theater and tell great stories. <laughs> Yeah, I'm mean, vlogging. Oh, you're vlogging? Yeah, dude. Are you doing Why? a YouTube video or something? I'm doing a vlog, uh, Rodan. Yeah, I'm becoming an actor. Well, I'm gonna blur your face out then. <laughs> <laughs>
once classes get going, then you'll be able to see a lot more what goes on. Um, big shout out to Justin and Federico today on uh, some great interviews. This is vlog number one of On the Road to Becoming an Actor. Thank you.